I think it's important that people look at art because we live in a visual world. And understanding and looking at and thinking about the way images communicate in all kinds of ways is important to being alive today. If one has heightened visual acumen, which you get from spending time looking at things, whether it's looking at newspaper photos closely or looking at works in a museum or looking at your surroundings or birds more closely, that sort of attention to an environment makes you a better person. You are, you know, existing in a more aware, alert, present space. Sometimes people think that the only way of looking at art is going to museums and things like, places like that. But maybe sometimes art is everywhere on the street if you look at architecture places or everything. So you really don't need to go to a museum to see art. It could be anywhere, you know, in a park or looking at buildings or going to the movies. So I think the everyday life. It's all about noticing for me. It's all about trying to see beyond their first impression. People look at art and they'd say, I like this, I don't like this, and they move on. They have predetermined notions. But if you can just stop and take a breath and look a little deeper at something, you can really start to notice some kind of detail that you might have not noticed before. And I think that skill applies to so many things in life, aside from art, about being able just to slow down and be aware of where actually where you're standing and just even stop talking and just maybe open up your ears, for example. And there's so much detail around that you can absorb if you really just take a moment and just let it come in and listen.